how the new blue card rule will change football and when to expect it. What is the blue card and how will it change football? In early February 2024, global media announced that world football authorities are close to integrating the biggest change in the game in more than 50 years. Yes, this would be the first rule change of its kind since yellow and red cards were brought in for the 1970 World Cup. In this video, we will discuss exactly that, what the first predictions are, when we could expect the change to happen, and most importantly, how will the blue card change football forever? Make sure to stay till the end. First, what is this new rule consisting of? Well, the new blue cards will be used as a sin bin 10 minute trial. Its purpose is both to benefit the attacking play and to reduce the player's descent in the game. Or simply, from now on, when there is an emerging counter attack and a defending player fouls his opponent, he will not be shown a yellow card, but a blue one. This will force him to get off the field, leaving his team a man down for 10 minutes. Also, in case of a repeated offence of the same player, he will be shown a second blue card and, respectively, a red one. It sounds crazy, right? A second blue card? This will be a massive change for football, trust my words. Apart from that, if the player receives a blue card and then a yellow, he will again be sent off. Now, part of the rule we mentioned earlier, players' descents. Do you remember at the start of the current season when players were given a yellow card if they dared to argue with the referee? Well, that was part of the regulations that the Referees Association, headed by legend Pierluigi Colina, tried out for about two months, but then quickly removed. And let's be honest, everyone was relieved when this decision got ejected because it really harmed the game. At the end of the day, football is a passionate sport in which players should freely express their emotions. With such a stupid decision, it was like ref saying, yes, this is the situation, only we can be right and no one else. Yep, maybe if the VAR judged every single foul or offside correctly, perhaps an anti-descent rule would make sense. But we all know that since its inception, VAR has not been as effective as it should be. And saying all this, with the new blue card, the association is again planning to bring that rule in, which forces players just to act like robots on the pitch, not fighting for what they want, which in conclusion will take a lot of the passion out of the game. Now, before we continue, we remind you to click on that subscribe button for more future content like this regarding the biggest news in our game. Let's talk about when we could expect the decision to arrive. Well, the initial reports say that the IFAB, the International Football Association Board, which is responsible for the production of such ideas, will have the green light for the trials at its annual meeting in March. But fortunately, this wouldn't mean that the blue cards will be approved from March onwards. According to some rumours, the rule will be tested in some English FA Cup matches, but it will most probably happen next season. So this idea will only be tried for now before it becomes part of European leagues, the Champions League and the Europa League, the World Cup, etc. Of course, there is also a chance that the rule will never be adopted. And for now, this has the potential to happen, especially when UEFA president Alexander Sheferin opposed the introduction of Simbins, saying it's not football anymore. However, if the IFAB ultimately approves the decision, UEFA will be forced to have the Sinbin in its competitions as they are added to the laws of the game. In fact, let's discuss it from our point of view, backing up our claims with the opinions of some top referees. As we mentioned at the beginning, why would you change something when it actually works? This has happened constantly in recent years and don't get me wrong, I'm in favour of making changes when they're effective and not just because football needs to evolve. No, no one needs that. The game is great without those imaginary blue cards. And when I say making changes, let's go back to the last five years and see how many similar decisions have been made. First, it was the VAR system. Yes, it was initially welcomed positively by fans. It was something that was really supposed to brighten up football. But look what's happened now. The semi-automatic refereeing system has made the game even more debated and literally every single controversial situation is watched closely. And yet there is no complete consensus in the decisions taken by the officials. Another big change was, for example, the establishment of the so-called Super League, an idea of Real Madrid president Florentino Perez. The concept seemed truly revolutionary at first. The biggest teams would play each other week in, week out, and the fans would witness top derbies every few days. On top of that, all participating teams will earn like 10 times the money they are currently earning. It all sounds great, doesn't it? Yes, but nobody thought that football would lose a lot of its quality. 
Let's imagine what we feel when we have, for example, a derby between Inter and Milan twice a season, or an El Clasico between Barcelona and Real Madrid. The fans look forward to the game for weeks before, and on the day of the game, they analyse and discuss with their friends ahead of the big game. It feels like a festive day for some. Everything they think of is the game. And now imagine how you'd feel if there was an El Clasico once every, um, two weeks. It wouldn't be that special, would it? Speaking of the blue card idea, a lot of officials have given their initial opinions on the matter, and most of them were strongly opposed to its introduction. One of them was the former Premier League referee Mike Dean, who retired at the end of the 2021-22 season. He participated in Sky Sports show where he stated, It's making a mockery of the game. It's just going backwards. It's going to slow the game down. There will be a really good game, 11 versus 11. And a person gets put in the sin bin and all they're going to do is then defend for 10 minutes. And when the guy comes back on, they'll go back to normal. Why do we need to bring blue cards in? I think it's absolutely pointless, Dean added. I haven't heard one manager or player who is on board with this. If there are cynical fouls, the players should just be yellow carded. It's as simple as that. Yes, Mike, totally agree with you. The IFAB initially said that by the introduction of the blue card, the game would become more attacking, while in reality, the exact opposite will happen. The 10-man team would defend for 10 minutes until the binned player gets back on the pitch. Everyone from those big organisations and associations has to understand that football is the biggest sport out there and there is no need to implement rules from hockey, rugby, basketball or any other game in the world unless it really improves the game. And this, guys, was our analysis on this very hot topic in our beloved game. Some of you might say that we are kind of conservative with the new idea. Others will take our side. However, no matter what your opinion is, we would be more than interested to hear it in the comments section. If you like the video, you can jump straight into some of our last episodes in which we discussed other interesting topics. Now, thank you for watching and until next time.